Hardison Fontaine, man. Hey, yo, Megan, you got some splaining to do. First of all, yo, dog, bruh, both of y'all made amazing songs. She had a little, both of them made introspective songs with hers being Cobra, his being the person. The person is a response to a line that she said in Cobra. It's a response to the song, but it's really a response to the line that she that Megan Thee Stallion has said in Cobra, which was uh, caught him getting hit in the bed that they were sleeping in, some shit like that, right? Now, the song itself is a good sounding song. That line, people tried to say that, oh, he's reaching because, oh, he re it was one line and she didn't even name him. This is hip hop and this is how hip hop works. You can't make a line that I recognize. You can't say my name. You can't do nothing that I may recognize as information about me. And if I feel like it's a disrespect, you cannot dictate how I respond to your disrespect. Don't talk about me in no way and think that I'm supposed to just shut up and be partisan Fontaine. And you super making the stallion? I don't think so. Now, as far as writing ability, of course, partisan Fontaine absolutely demolished her. As far as the sound structure of the song, of course, Megan Thee Stallion's production was better. But we ain't really seen something like this since like Eminem and Mariah Carey. And I say this, yo, Megan, you like zero for three right now. Tori smoked you in his whole album and all the disses he made towards you. Your best friend, that that is on my channel, is called Megan Ver and the Best Friend. Uh, she smoked you on the song she made and now P Partisan Fontaine smoked you. You keep getting smoked, bruh. He talked about you going on Gail King. He said the people who love you don't know you. The people who know you don't love you. He done got a tattoo of your lips and printed on his shoulder. The nigga wanted to propose to you. He done got the ring and everything. Damn, Megan, you are, you being trife. Trifling, bruh. Being trifling. I don't know you personally, but from any information presented to you, gathering it all up, it's all bad. It ain't, there is nothing good about your image in the last three to four years. It's all terrible. All of that, I ain't want a black man to be looked down on and I ain't want them to kill him and all of that, but you let them enslave him in a jail system. And then you let another black man go to he almost was getting in fights with the baby. The nigga is known for shooting people. Imagine if the baby pulled up, strapped up, ready to go. And this, and then to find out later that everything that he was fighting for you was bullshit. People, this should be a lesson. That you should remain as a good poet or a good production person because if something happened to you, you need to make be able to make a banging ass song like these two niggas. And another thing is, get out of this toxic shit, yo. These people out here are toxic. They do shit in Hollywood that regular niggas would die for. A regular person out here would have got killed for a lot of this shit. Not encouraging this. I'd rather see the art. And I'm glad that they're artists and they get to produce and express themselves in an artistic way. But... They be trying to light up the gender wars with bullshit like this. This is ain't. This is not a gender war thing. This is a human thing. You cannot treat a human being like this and portray yourself as a victim everywhere in the world, on every aspect, and but not tell the whole story of how you're hurting someone. You got this man shaking hands with a nigga that you know you fucking. He asking you about it. Jesus Christ. If we got to listen to your song as truth and you're depressed and you want to, you know, have terrible thoughts about your life, all of that shit. We understand that, but we also understand it from his side, too. Hopefully. Right, ladies? Y'all understand it, right? No human should be treated like this, right? No human. It's not just man or a woman thing. It's human thing. Yikes. Damn, dog, at the ring, the tattoo. <laughs> she just over there just smoking this nigga. With all kind of blowjobs and 
what knobs and getting in fights and then getting shot because you're getting in an argument over the nigga. How you how you get shot over a dude fucking with a girl on the argument you cause as drunk knowing you got a whole nigga at home? Trash.